Just got done with breakfast, and now we gotta go meet. I gotta go meet some buddies down at the McGregor Market. We're gonna have some coffee, discuss a couple things, and then we gotta get going there. There's a lot of stuff we gotta get done today at the farm. But first, I gotta make tons of stops at John Deere, and then we gotta get disking. There's a lot at John Deere that I need to pick up. A lot of different implements that we still gotta pick up, so I'm gonna get the old Ford out. We're gonna run down there. After we're done having coffee, I think we're gonna stop at John Deere. If you guys enjoy this 80s farming series, as much as I do, please, I ask that you hit the like button. Please, it helps out the video. It helps out me so much. That'd be, that'd be awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. Those who do, those who watch, those who hit the like button. Just anybody, I guess. But thank you guys. Jump in here. So I've started making a couple of friends around here. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, but they, they invited me for coffee. So I was like, heck yeah. I want to come for coffee. So that's what we're doing. It'll be fun. Shut the garage door. There we go. And then also, I'm thinking about putting up another bin. Let's turn on the radio or something. Uh, what channel, what channel, what channel, what station do we want? Yeah, we'll go 97.3 AM. Welcome back to 97.3, the Goldie, the best country hits of the 80s. Farmers out there, are you looking for a new pickup truck? Chevy's 89 K10 just hit the markets with hmm. the best in class towing. Chevy, built like a rock. And as always, our PC advertiser. If you're looking for an Apex game in PC, there's use code SQUAD for 10% off. As for your weather here in McGregor, Iowa, it looks like it's going to be cloudy all day. And coming in the late afternoon, there's a little chance that God's piss comes down on top of us. This is Doug at 97.3, the Goldie, out. Up next, Alabama, the song of the South. Man, I hope it doesn't rain like he says it's going to... Gosh darn, dude. Awesome. Grant, morning. You morning. You want to smoke morning. before coffee? <coughs> oh, yeah, for sure. There you go. For sure. There, you want a light? Oh, okay. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. Let's, uh. What, you can't handle them? We're getting there. Ah, yeah. oh, man. They have coffee around back then? Yeah, they should. They okay. should here. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping so. You dark black guy? Uh, I like a little cream on my coffee. I, I, that's what I heard around the rumor, too. Hold I'm on. Let, let, let's go, we're, let's we're go in there and just okay, I'm, I'm just going to go right okay. in there and check. Hey, ma'am. Do you, have, do you have coffee? Oh, shoot, you guys don't. But the cafe. Okay, yep. Yeah, that, yeah, that's where we were thinking about going. Okay. Thanks, ma'am. Appreciate it. You too. Have a lovely day. I thought they would have had coffee there. Yeah, they don't have coffee there. Do you want to drive over there or you want to walk over there? Uh, where, where, where are we looking here? Is there a cafe over there? Yeah, the McGregor over there. The cafe. Uh, let's just drive over there. Think, yeah, let's just drive over there. Last one there pays for coffee. Dad gummit, I gotta pay for coffee. Chevy, they're built like a rock, but as slow as a rock. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, so you're Let's a Ford guy, huh? Yeah. Smokes and yeah, coffee, sure. that's what it's about, man. Smokes and coffee. Yep, that's that's a good breakfast. <laughs> well, I gotta get I got about 100 acres, I wanna knock, knock out Diskin, man. What about you? What are you up to? I gotta stop uh, I gotta pick up some equipment today. Hey, you got a new hat. I didn't even notice. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Deer, that's what I like, man. That's what I like. Well, yeah, down at Deer, sure. they have a, uh, I was seeing, I was thinking, I would love to get it, but I know you haven't bought equipment yet, because you just moved here, but they have a, they have a 7520 four-wheel drive that I think is a 72, Ooh. so it's, it's pushing over 10 years old, it'd be a heck of a value buy, that's a lot of horsepower it there, would. and that's I've, true. I've always loved those things, I was thinking about buying something like that, but I knew I was going to have coffee with you, and I was like, hey, you might want to check her out, it's pretty good price, too. Yeah, for sure, for They're sure. They price um, it at about 20 grand, which... Oh, it's expensive, really? but that's expensive, but yeah. but yeah, that's worth it. Uh, I was gonna ask, can I borrow your trailer, like your truck and your trailer? Because I don't have one. Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, you could yeah. borrow that. You could borrow that. Um, the only thing is, I may need my, I mean, I may need the load star day because I'm actually hauling in another bin to set up another bin on oh, the farm. Oh, okay. But but you can use it. We can work. We can work around that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll fill it up with fuel and everything. Make sure that's all good. If okay. I, if I do use it. Yeah, whatever you put on that trailer, she'll pull it, man. She's a she's a beast at Lodestar. Oh, all right, yeah. I saw you loading some things off of it the other day, so. But I guess one question I have for you: I'm running a little short-handed. Yeah. Is there any way you could run a tractor for me when I'm disc? If if I'm disking, and I need a little help. I'd uh, honestly. For sure. We'll just work out a time. You come get the tractor whenever. If I'm going, and I I could use an extra hand. I'll just I'll grab you or something. Uh, I gotta go take a look at some equipment. So. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be down at here too, so I'll probably see you down there. Oh, okay. We're pulling deer, see what they all got here. There's Johnson's and, and Sons, that this is the dealer, and then there's a case dealer over in Wisconsin, which 
we're we're right on the border. We're real close to Wisconsin. So so here's what they got, and I was, man, I was specifically looking at getting. Here, let me show you guys. Let me help out the pickup truck. Oh, by the way, now this is part of Deer's used lot. They got a whole other lot over there, so they just. I don't know why the equipment stored like this because they got some Fords here. I think these are some older Fords. Maybe they're only a couple years old. Dang, this is something I could consider getting. And there's an 8820. Man. Oh, Massey Ferguson skids here. This would go per perfect with my big Massey I got. But this is what I was telling Austin about. I was telling him I saw this tractor here when I v visited Johnson and Bros. And it's a 7520. Straight pipe. It's got a turbo. This would be a beast of machine. If I didn't have that Massey, man, I would go with something like this. 7520. I think it's a little older tractor, though. It's probably uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 years old. I think it's a 72, if I'm not mistaken. But check this out. This is what I was looking at. First of all, there's all this stuff over here. So here's, dang. So here's a 220. Yeah, here's a John Deere 220, and that's what I have. That's okay. But they have this John Deere 630. That has this set at a little bit different angle, so it'll give it a better soil finish. So, here's a John Deere 630, which is the big behemoth compared to that 220. So, I was thinking, hey, why not get a 630 so we can run it behind the big Massey Ferguson, and then this John Deere 220, I can still keep around. But, if I, if I need somebody else disc in while I'm out there, I can use this behind, well, the 4440, or or behind the 4450 which i mean we probably have a lot of discs but i think i think it'd be fun to run two discs at once especially since we have a decent amount of land now here's also what i was looking at john deere 7200 now for your first planter it's probably not a good idea to just go crazy big with a 12 pro but the 4450 behind the 7200 oh, or i should say the 7200 behind the 4450 ah oh, it'd be perfect that's what i'm kind of thinking i don't know so I'm gonna go in and talk to Johnson Bros. See if we can't get something worked out. Yeah, thanks guys. Nah, shouldn't need help getting loaded. So let me hop in the pickup truck. We're gonna pull something home. We bought the 630 and the 7200. Now right now, I don't think we're gonna be able to get out planted today. So it's probably smart to take the 630 disc home instead of the planter. So I'm gonna back around here and then hook up to the disc. We'll get the disc hooked up. And then I'll probably come back for the planter later, later day. If it starts raining, we'll just pick the planter up when it's raining. That way we're not in the field. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Let's get out and hook this up. She's hooked. This is absolutely a bit of a behemoth. If I even said that right. Of a disc. My gosh. John Deere 630. And this is a two-year-old disc. So I'm not buying it at brand new price and taking the whole depreciation hit. And then this John Deere 7200 Max Emerge 2 is also our planner. Now, guys, I got to be honest. I was a little... Are we pulling good? Okay. I was a little sketched out about going 12 foil planner. But salesman there, he convinced me. He, he said it would work out fine. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with that planner. We're pulling in here, and I wouldn't mind—I wouldn't mind getting this hooked up right now and testing this out. I know Austin said he's gonna come over and grab the truck like he needs to borrow it, and we'll let him do that. But man, I really want to test this out. And then we also got to haul that grain bin in today yet too, because so I was gonna put that bin out. We we're gonna try to get it down. We got concrete four made, so we'll swing around here and then pull the disc up, probably right next to that Massey. I'm trying to think this through. I think this will work. There we go. We'll hop out of the truck. Got the disc unhooked. Jump in the high boy, move the high boy, and fire up the old Massey. She's been sitting overnight. It's about 45 degrees. I think she'll fire up. Let's jump in the big old Massey 4900. You boys ready for a cold start? Come on. She just fires right up to high idle. We'll put her in gear. Should probably let her, let's let her warm up for a couple minutes. And then we'll put her in gear and back her up. Okay, I think she should be warm. We'll jump in her, move her. See, put her in gear. There we go. Now I gotta think if I'm running two disc, what tractor am I gonna use on the 220 there? See, I could use the 4440 because we also I have duels for the 4440. And how cool would it be to be discing 
with an open station tractor. Put her in reverse here. Keep backing her up. Come on, keep going. There we go. Let's get out of connector. She's all hooked up. I think I'm going to get disking. Now, as for ground, we have to disc all of this up yet, which I think is going to be my first priority. And then we're going to move to ground across here. There's a lot, there's about 100 acres back here. And there's another 50 acres kind of back in that timber that's all spread out into like tiny little segments. So don't get me wrong. It's 50 acres, which is a lot, but it's going to take like double the time compared to a normal 50 acres just because it's all spread out back there. Who's that? Oh, I think that's Austin. If that's his Chevy. My gosh, dude. Did he almost run through a stop sign? Oh, there he is. Yeah, not much. I just got the, uh, the new disc hooked up to the Massey. What about you? What are you up oh, to? Oh, nice. Uh, I just came over to see what... Uh, did you want to do some disking first, or what was the plan there? Yeah, let me see how this... Yeah, I would really like to get disking, too. So if you want to get disking on some of this bottom ground, that'll work good. Now, with that being All right, said... yeah, for sure. I got the 4440 or I got the 4450. Uh, I'm honestly good with whatever. Okay. Whatever you think is going to work best. I'm Let's, I, so I'm going to put you in the 4450. You'll just disc with that. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. Okay. Let's, uh, you know how to drive it, right? It's power yep. shift. You know how to drive it. Oh, yeah. Shift. Okay. Of course. Let me open this door and then you can jump in the 4450 and I'll hook you up to the disc. Crank that baby over. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Sounds good. He starts right up. So I think Austin's just going to pull her around. We're going to hook up to the disc. The 220 is a lot more aggressive disc than the 630. Basically what I mean as a side note, guys, is the 630 cultivates and the 220 disc. So it's kind of, even though they're both a disc, that's what I mean by one one's more aggressive. Keep, keep coming. Yep, that's good. I'll drop the pin. Hey, Austin, on that tractor, I usually run yeah. it in, you'll probably want to run it in fourth or fifth gear, probably five or six mile an hour, if we can do it. Just whatever All works right, best. Yep. That 4450, I'm guessing fourth or fifth gear is probably going to be best for him. I don't know, though. He's got to play with the gears a little bit. Let's get to it. See, I would like to get that 4440 out and put duels on there and let Austin run her, but... The 4450 just has a little more horsepower. Am I going to be able to get... Uh, let's slow her down. Am I going to be able to get by with his uh, pickup truck here? I think we'll be fine. There we go. Keep coming down here. As you can see, it looks like Austin... Oh, my mirror's blocking. But it looks like Austin's going good down there. Let's unfold the disc. Ooh. This is going to be a little rough entering the field. We're kind of at an angle here. Drop her down. This disc is taking everything the Massey has. We're running about three mile an hour here. Come on. There we go. I found the gear. But pulling up these hills, she's going to get a little rough. Come on. Come on, old girl. We're spinning a little bit. Oh, shoot. Come on. My gosh. It's almost like we need triples here. Come on. Pull up here. There we go. Man, we're just spinning through here. I thought for sure we had enough horsepower, enough traction. There we go. Okay, we're going. And this is why we have a four-wheel drive. First of all, man, that was rough on the four-wheel drive. But second of all, this is getting pretty steep, a little too steep for me. I'm going to go along here and come down this side. Man, we were struggling. That was pretty steep grade through there, but we were struggling. Shoot. Now this stuff is easy. I can disc at five mile an hour easily. We're going down a hill. It's easy for the Massey. But going back up is a little rough. There we go. I think I got uh, CB on this. Uh, we got CB in the Massey and on the deer. Of course there's a CB on there. I'm gonna call the Austin. Austin, you there on the CB? Oh yeah, all right, yeah, there we go. Found it. How's that 4450 doing down there? Uh, it's, it's doing pretty good. Uh, it's not having any trouble pulling this thing, so I can't complain. Man, I'm even struggling with 370 horse over here in the Massey. I almost need triples on this thing. There we go. Can well, you even get triples for those things? I think I can. I don't know. But I am, once we hit ground coming up here, it's a little moist out. And I'm just spinning. 
Hey, uh, Grant, I'm done that part over here. Do you just want me to go ahead over to this next little piece over here? Yeah, just keep working your way down there. Basically, what I want to hit is that bottom ground. That stuff is thick through there. I had the ground must come out, and he said you really want to till this deep. So that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, but yeah. I was talking about the, this one up here. If you look at uh, it, probably look out at your back window. The second strip up, pretty much, is what I want to get. And then from there, we don't need to do too much deep tillage. We're using all the mass he has here, boys. <laughs> running fast, running hard. We're gonna need a little momentum coming into this. Come on, come on, don't give up on me, girl. I think what I'm gonna do, shoot, I cut that strip, strip, man, I cut that strip a little too short, so I gotta run all the way up here. Come on. Ah. Well, we made it up through there, guys. It is just. It gets so rough up there. I thought the Massey would have power to be able to pull pull up through here. But it gets so rough once you get up to the top and you get to some steep stuff. It's almost like I gotta I need to cultivate on my way down through there, it seems like. There we go, we'll lift her up. Swing around here. Get her set up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Drop her in. There we go. Give her heck, Massey. Come on. Looks like Austin's going good back there. I think he's having a better time than me. Man. Well, guys, I realized the best way to do this is just a disc going down. This is pretty steep. She's a little sloppy out. And this disc, it just pulls heavy. Hey, man, how'd she pull? Uh, she pulled pretty good. She got a lot done over there. Well, I'm struggling a little here with the Massey pulling up these hills. So what I got to do is I got to come down them. Uh, but I got like one more pass to make on this side. There's a lot of, up there to do, but we'll call it a day. The rain's supposed to come in soon. I gotta hold. I gotta hold a bin back here. Would you want to help me with that? I just gotta move a bin yeah, back sure. here. I, I, can, I can help you with that. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna put it up today or what, but yeah, that'd be perfect. Well, we're gonna fold her up. We're complete. But man, this Massey. I don't know what the problem is. I, I'd love to see your guys' opinion, but this thing just keeps slipping. So we got a giant bin to buy. The co-op sells them. I'm going to take the semi down there with the trailer. Actually, they'll probably have a trailer for me that they haul bins on special. And then I'll bring the trailer right. back up. And then we'll see. I don't know if we're going to be able to get off the trailer or not. I want to haul that here, though. I definitely want to get that here and put that up. That'll be nice extra storage. It'll just be a perfect amount. All right. See you there. Well, let's find this bin. It was a big hopper bottom. They should have it on the trailer here. Uh, Yeah, it's right here. Holy, holy crap, dude. That is one. I, I, ordered, I don't know how you plan to move this thing. I ordered 20,000 bushel bin. I've never seen 20,000 bushel bin on a gosh dang trailer. I think 20,000, they were saying, is the biggest you can haul on a trailer. And I'm like, how the heck do you haul that? How am I supposed to get through here? My gosh. I wonder if they were supposed to send it to you in pieces. Well, I mean, at least I don't have to put it together. But somehow I got to get this from here. Holy crap, I didn't think 20,000 bushel bin was that big. So I guess I never told you guys what I ordered this for. What I was thinking is some diversification. Obviously, we're planting soybeans and corn. But to have oats would, would diversify my farm a little more. And specifically, there's a lot just around us. Well, some elevators are going to take oats. And there's a lot of horse owners around us. That are really, it seems like they're asking, the more I talk to more people around here, there's a lot of horses around here. So, I asked a couple people, I was like, hey, if I sold oats, would that be good for you guys? Would that help you guys out? And they're like, yeah, we're really, it's tough to source out oats around here. So, I was going to store my oats in here, and it was nice to have a hopper bottom. Well, because we are going to do a lot of small orders, and I could just always have an auger underneath the hopper bottom. They're super easy to load out compared to a regular bin. If we're always going to be moving grain, I figured this would be the way to do it. Have a hopper bottom bin. I can't believe we're doing this, guys. I can't believe we're doing this right now. Holy crap. The Lodestar. You got a big task ahead of you, boy. All right, back it up. Yep. Back it up. Keep coming. Yeah, keep coming. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Safety first. Awesome. Safety? Safety? Hi, you're funny. Keep on coming. Watch your foot. My foot's good. 
There you go. Back up some more. All right, you should be good. King That's pretty funny. You said safety. There we go. What was that you said about safety? That's well, no, there's a local farmer that the situation kind of like this. He was hooking up gravity wagons and got stuck. Yeah, there's a, you know, I, I was talking back where I was from. I was talking to another farmer and there was a guy and I'm, I'm serious about safety. I like to say safety, man. It's You need to keep it on your mind. But there's this guy. There's a PTO shaft running. He stepped over a PTO shaft and was running, had jeans on just like you. And his jeans got, once he had one leg over, he was about to reach the other leg over. I don't know why you would step over a PTO shaft when it's running. He steps over it, and his jeans got caught in it. And his jeans right around his crotch started getting caught, started winding up, and eventually his balls got pinched in it. And his balls oh. swelled like basketballs. He comes running into the hospital carrying his balls like, Oh my gosh, my balls are swollen. And just, and I don't know, man. That imagine that pain. So that's why I say safety first, even though, yeah. Uh, that is not okay. Not not to be mean, but that is pretty funny. <sighs> I don't know, man. It it's uh it's rough. I think eventually they got the swollenness down and stuff. But oh, imagine that pain. Yeah, it's just <laughs> safety is number one. Let's uh safety and cigarettes, boy. Let's get to that. Let's get home this. Austin, you gotta lead the way, man. Alrighty. Oh, there's a load star. She's working. This might be a long travel. Are we good both ways? Yep. Okay. Austin, I'm going to have to dr pretty much drive down the middle of this lane here. There's no... Uh, All right. Maybe I can go, go over, but if there's a car coming, you're going to have to stop them up ahead and say, hey... We got uh we got some big coming through, so are we gonna be able to clear under these street lights here? Or is this gonna ah. Just go go around the other way. Okay. You should be good. Just watch out for those street signs. Yep, we're coming through. My gosh, guys, getting along here. Holy crap. We're doing it. Man, this is cool through here. We just got to get this bin down yet today. Oh, gosh. We're good along there. You good, Grant? Yep. All right. Wait a sec. How am I going to get this up my driveway? I think we'll have to go I along really that far side. Thought about that. I think we should make it. My gosh. I guess you better hope so. I think the only way we're going to get up the driveway is by smashing that like button. You got it closed off up there? Awesome. Yep. Okay. Give her the beans up the hill. Come on, old Betsy. I need, an, I need a name for this semi. But, yeah. Comments? Put her in there. We need a name for the old girl. Okay, for now, until we get this set up, perfect. I'm just going to pull her right through the middle of the yard, I think. That'll work best. Let's back her up. Back her up. Keep going? Yep, keep coming. No, uh, whoa. That should whoa, be good for good. now. Okay. Uh, it's, it's time for a smoke? Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was stressful. Go. Here you go. Successful yep. day. Successful yep. day. I would say so. Well, I think I'll, I don't know, I'll probably put that bin down tomorrow. Do you want the truck in the trailer? Uh, no, I think I'll get that uh, if if it's if uh, if it's free tomorrow afternoon. I think I'll I'll just okay. move the equipment tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, that'd work good if you want. Yeah, it'll be free from now on pretty much. All I gotta do is unload this, and I don't even need that truck to unload it, so we'll be good there. Yeah. Well, guys, I seriously hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't smoke. Do not smoke. We do it for role play. Smoking will kill you. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.